Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 24 of C programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering more on size of different types in C, but more specifically, we're going to be learning about the size of function, which can return the number of bytes uh, given any information pretty much. So if we say the size of a character, it will return how many bytes are in a character. We can do the same for a double or an int. And um, yeah, we can do that pretty much for anything. And we can also use it for when we have arrays. So if we have an array of integers or other things, we can find how many bytes that array uses. So let's just get started here. Um, we're going to type a little message size of a character. And then we're going to use our percent %d because we want to know the number, whole number of bytes. So one bytes, etc. So now, um, since size of doesn't actually return an integer, it um, it reads bytes, which we don't actually have a byte specifier. Um, so we kind of have to do something called type casting, which um, is very useful in a lot of things actually. But basically, um, what we're doing here is we're by putting the int out here in parentheses like this, we're converting whatever is in front of it or after it, I should say, um, we're converting whatever that is into an integer. So let's say we had a decimal number, 4.5, and we use typecasting with this int here, that 4.5 would now become a 4. So that's kind of how uh, typecasting works and using integers for that. So now uh, let's continue on. We want to use the size of, and we want to know the size of a character. Okay, so that's pretty much what we're going to be doing there. So now we have to make a few more printfs here. Oops, I don't know what I just did. Let's keep going. So now um, we're going to go through pretty much all the types that you'll uh, learn via me. So size of short, and that basically is some is somewhere between a character and an integer in its length. Um, so yeah, uh, let's keep going here. Um, next we have a float. And then we have a double, and then we have a long double. These are all basically the types that, um, well, these types that I'll ever use, if ever. Um, but anyway, let's keep going. Size of a short, size of an int, size of a float, size of a double, and size of a long double. So those are all different types that we can use. So let's try this out. Build and run. And as you can see, when we run this, we get all the different uh, number of bytes, basically, that each thing can hold. So um, a character is um, pretty common just because it's um, for all of our character codes that we use. Um, a short isn't really as common at all. Um, mostly because it doesn't hold that much information and an integer um, is just more preferred because it holds enough information for most of the numbers that we use. So in general um, we just use the int instead of short because um, int is it does use more memory but it's uh, it has a, a wider range of numbers that it can use. So in general all we're ever going to use is the character and an int. I just want to show you different types here. So now, moving on to the decimal types, which are all these here. Um, decimal types work a little differently for um, if if you do have a decimal in it, then you can't really use the same conversion formula thing that we used before to figure out what the maximum number is. So um, it, it becomes difficult, but all you really have to know is that a float is less accurate than a long double. and um, Basically, that's just because a long double can hold more information. So um, what we're going to be using in these tutorials anyway, I probably won't use float that often because, again, it's not that accurate. A double is pretty accurate for most of the cases, and long double is really accurate, so if need be, I might use it. But pretty much um, all the things that we're going to use in this um, series of tutorials is a character, an integer, a double, and possibly a long double. So I just want to show you, though, how the size of function works. It reads the different number of bytes that we have in um, all of our types. So now 
Um, let's go out of this and let's go to uh, let's just print. Oops, didn't want to do that. Delete that. And I just want to find the. Uh, okay, so I'm going to create an array here. Sorry for mumbling. I'm going to create a character array. I'm just going to call it my array. We're going to give it 25 um, different characters. And now we're going to find the size of my array. So it's pointing to my array. And now it's going to find the size of it. So let's go ahead, build and run. And as you can see here, size of my array, 25. That's because a character only has one byte, so if we have 25 bytes, well, we got 25 bytes. So now let's change this array, though, to an integer, and let's see what happens. Now you can see the size of my array is 100. So you can see how this is useful when you have um, different values. Um, an integer has 4 bytes, so 4 times 25 gives us this 100 value. So this is how size of is useful. Um, it becomes even more useful when uh, later on, and uh, you'll know why then, but basically uh, when you have really a lot of information, a lot of memory, and you can compare by using size of how much memory you're actually using. So that's um, just a little information on size of, but really what I was trying to get across in this tutorial is all the different sizes of the uh, types in C. So anyway, if you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comments below. And if you have any more, just send them to uh, the YouTube message thing. Just send them to me. And uh, also, I have a YouTube moderator set up on the channel page. So if you have any suggestions or would like me to uh, go over anything, I don't know, just suggest anything and uh, I'll take a look at it. So um, it's up on the channel and I'll see you next tutorial. All right. See ya.